Uh, Katie or Nate may be more qualified to interview John on this particular subject, but John Paul from Grain Inc., welcome back to the show. Thank you. Congratulations are in order. Yes. Uh, you're, in, you're a first time new father. Yes. Uh, as of how many days or how should we say hours? Uh, 48 hours maybe. Congratulations. Thank Healthy you. baby. Healthy baby boy. Do you have a name picked out? Yes, Blaze. Blaze. Blaze wow. Robert Pa. There's a lot of pressure to be John Pa's son, I feel like, and Blaze is a good start. Uh, you I know. think that's <laughs> starting on the, on the cool. Okay, Nate Johnson, welcome back, Real Estate Solutions. Also, Katie Jambretz, welcome back, St. Louis Economic Development Partnership. Um, can I uh, just ask you guys to look into your crystal ball? Besides a, a healthy, young, cool one-year-old, what else do you see happening in the year 2014 for the St. Louis region? Maybe bouncing off a little bit of what we just heard there with, with, with the tech jobs that she sees continuing. I, I see more tech jobs. Yeah. I mean, uh, one of the announcements that um, you know kind of got buried in all the Boeing news was that we made the Boeing shortlist. We were one of a handful of cities that were on finalists for the 777X, which was an incredibly small group of municipalities, but also... And well, what does that let's, let's stop you there for a second. What does that say? I mean, I, people thought we just got played so Seattle could get, a, they could get a better not, deal in Seattle. Not true at all. I mean, we were on their short list. They were here. They had a huge team of the core um, top people from Boeing here looking at the land, at the universities, at the neighborhoods. They, they were taking on a tour of all of our cultural amenities a whole day long. And that was just one of three visits that they were going to be here on the ground. So I think, you know, when you hear Jason Rosenbaum talk, of, does it mean future defense projects? I think it lines us up very well for future defense projects. But I think it makes us look incredibly good to all manufacturers in the United States. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that completely. I think that that's kind of the theme of what I expect in 2014 is that St. Louis is going to continue to be highlighted on the map as a place for different things to go. And with the Boeing opportunity, it did just that. It showed that we could work collaboratively as a state and certainly as a region to, hey, raise our hands and say, hey, we want this project. Do we believe that Boeing is going to do something else huge in the next decade? Probably so. Are there other manufacturing companies that have those opportunities? That are, are they CEOs talking to each other? Are these people saying, hey, you know what? Maybe look at St. Louis and you know, hopefully <clears throat> We'll see that how we responded to this opportunity will help us get successes down the road. And remind us, there are some Boeing jobs that are coming here. And one of the other announcements was that they're bringing 400 new engineering jobs to Boeing. That's on top of the hundreds of IT jobs they announced this summer. So, I mean, we're getting 800 to 1,000 new jobs at Boeing. These are research and development, engineers, IT. These are incredible jobs that attract people to the region, but also kind of frame us out as being a place where really smart people want to be. We've talked about, we won't, we're not going to use the I word anymore when it comes to development over here, but if people drive up and down 40, they see a lot of construction, they see a lot going on, it may seem like an inconvenience with the ramps and whatnot, but what's going on over there in the word, in the Cortex world? Are things moving there? Well, it's interesting that they, that IKEA chose to be at Cortex, which is the innovation district. Yeah. Why they said, well, Cortex is innovative and sustainable, but more than that, it's going to have foot traffic. I mean, it's going to be mixed use and retail and residential. And to put an Ikea there, suddenly you're going to drive down Forest Park Parkway and there will be people everywhere. It's going to totally shift um, the way Forest Park Parkway looks. You'll find me there. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Ikea. Well, I mean, one thing is that you guys are both in property and real estate. And the reason I'm not really talking beforehand is because I don't disagree with you guys. If, you were to, if I was to disagree with you, I'd probably be saying more fierce things. <laughs> um, but one thing I, I think I do see in 2014 is uh, property prices rising, um, especially in the city. And I, I'm, I'm hugely, I, even the past five years, I've been saying I'm hugely optimistic about St. Louis because, um, especially in the city, I think it's completely undervalued. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. The uh, IKEA itself, like I, I'm, I'm sure SLU is like just celebrating because their property values must be going up. Uh, they will be if they're not already. And um, I see the huge opportunity of, of restaurant tours, opening up new restaurants. Because I mean, five years ago, even before then, the, the restaurants weren't they're okay, but there aren't as many as like that we have now. I mean, you have small batch opening up, you have, you have the Bailey's uh, 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 restaurants, you have. Uh, niche and, and Gerard there I mean you have all these different aspects uh, where you see St. Louis really rising and and we're not getting enough attention about it yeah and if you look at you know I, I think that what 
uh, an attraction like IKEA come into town, it does like what Scott mentioned, you know, it increases our civic self-confidence. I know that when we were in competition with other opportunities here in St. Louis, um, you know, when we heard that Kansas City got Google Fiber, for instance, there seemed to be some air letting out of the sales of St. Louis. Like, why didn't that come to St. Louis? And I think that when you get these sort of chic type of brands that come to our market and aren't in all other markets, it's like, hey, wow, look at that. They're coming to St. Louis. That's great. And when you look at the real estate development, the residential development that's taking place, I mean, we're bringing on a huge amount of, of, of residential real estate within, within our region here. If you look at, you know, the Whole Foods, you know, between the Whole Foods and the new Opus development that'll be coming in, we're talking about almost 500 residential units right there. And then if we look at the loop and we look at the Washington University development, we're talking about another 250. The Loop Trolley Project, which is going to get off the ground this year, you know, we're going to see ground broken in 2014 for that. That's going to expand development further east on Delmar. There's so many opportunities there when you look on both sides of Delmar. It is a momentum, one of those things that yeah. once it gets rolling, it's almost yep. unstoppable. And don't you feel like 2014, it's like we've got the momentum, like yes. what are we going to yeah. do with it? Yeah. I, I personally, I mean, that's a great question because one of the things I think St. Louis does lack is a cohesive vision. I feel, I feel like everybody's siloed out. Right, you have partnership, you have uh, real estate developers, everybody's kind of, but I think when you have massive amount of, of growth in a city or change in a city for good is when people really start communicating together and start working together. Whether that means the county and the city come together, I don't know, but I do think that he, people that have positions of power need to let go of some of that power and work together in order to create something even better. And see, I think we're seeing that. And I think, Katie, with your organization, with the partnership, I mean, that's exactly what we need. I don't think that anybody expects or should expect for the city and county to all of a sudden merge, you know? Or yeah, I don't, we don't even know if that's the best solution. But I think that what we're seeing is maybe some baby steps. You know, let's get in. Let's, let's work together on yes. these things. Well, they let's work together Well, they economic development work. Yeah. So we haven't even been around for a year yet. And we've had some of our biggest, huge corporate expansions, <clears throat> Monsanto, Boeing, Express Scripts, Worldwide Technology. and. A, an explosion in tech entrepreneurship. So we've seen a really big successful first year. So I, you know, what's next? Is it combining, you know, cooperating on things like public safety? I think you hear a lot of conversation around that. Like, hey, economic development worked. What else could we try to do together to make it work better?